Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you this week? Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Virgos, welcome back you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. What's going on with you this week for Virgos? What's going on with Virgos this week? Virgos, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is showing up for a lot of people. We have the Four of Cups. Okay. You may be dreading, I've never gotten this before for Virgos, but you may be dreading the month of April. Something may be coming up in April. It could be an anniversary. It, it could be reminding you of something. It could be the anniversary of someone's death. There's something that you could be dreading. I'm getting the number four strong, but I'm getting that that four representing the month of April. You could also be trying to avoid an Aries for some of you. Mm. You could also just be tired this week. Some of you just need a break. Four of Swords with the Four of Cups. It's like, oh, okay. You could be tired of looking for love as well. You could be waiting on that one offer to come in, that one big cup. Even though you may have other offers, it's like, mm, uh, tired of it. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Tired of thinking, tired of going out with people. I'm just, ugh. you may be feeling like, ugh, whatever, you know? We get like that sometimes, you know, I'm just saying people in general, you know, it's like, I, I feel that energy with you. Like, huh, I just don't want to deal with anything right now. Queen of swords. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you may have your guard up for some of you. Divine spirit, Holy spirit, show me this energy for Virgo. What's going on? Let's get into it. What's that? Eight of cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. You may be thinking about the past a lot. Eight of Cups. You may be thinking about old lovers. Some of you may be trying to quit drinking with the Eight of Cups in reverse, turning down those eight cups. You may be quitting drinking, trying to separate yourself from people who drink. Some of you may not be over something that happened. You may think about it a lot a lot or it could be coming up a lot this week something that happened in your past okay with when the eight of cups is in reverse divine spirit holy spirit you could also be in your feelings a lot Ooh, four of swords show me four yeah four i was about to say for gemini but this is gemini's energy the magician for virgo here we have the magician you could be thinking about a Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. Their energy is back to back. Lovers is here. A Gemini could be thinking about you. As I always say, flipped or reversed. Put the characters where they go, y'all. Mm. The full energy. I just heard like, when is it my turn? When is it my turn? Like some of you are like waiting for love, waiting for an offer, waiting for something bigger. When? Like when is it going to happen? When? You could be asking that a lot. Mm. Magician with the lovers and the fool. Show me. The sun is here. Leo's energy. Seven of swords. Someone could be having secret thoughts here of you. Could be a Leo. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Someone very attracted here. Very attracted to you. What's the Seven of Swords energy? Two of Swords. They may not want you to know just yet. Ten of Cups that they're feeling this energy. They don't know how you feel about it though. Mmm. The chariot could be cancer. The chariot, page of cups, queen of pentacles, your energy. Yeah. 
some of you could be taking a very passionate connection to the next level. Yeah. It's almost like you manifested a one night stand with someone, like you sleep with someone and then you, boom, you take this leap of faith and you move into a relationship. Someone could be thinking about this with you, okay? Manifesting lovers, look at this. Very passionate energy. I just feel like you could have slept with someone and then it's like, whoa, wait. Could this be the person that I'm supposed to be with? Fourth cup, show me for Virgo. The world card is here. Three of wands, ace of cups. Could be someone at a distance. Mm. I just feel like your lonely days are almost over. Yeah. Mm. I just feel like something new is here, but you may have felt like really bored with your life or your love life. You may have felt very bored. The tower is here. Kaboom. Scorpio's energy, knight of swords. Yeah, something is going to come in fast or it's already currently happening. You could have met someone online. Eight of pentacles or at work. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, it's like, there. I feel a turnaround here. There's a bit of a turnaround. It's like, nothing is happening. I've, I've been waiting for someone. I've been waiting for something exciting. You may just get what you've been manifesting. If you've been manifesting a sexual connection, a love connection, some of you are about to walk right into that. And it, like I said, it may be someone online. It could be someone at a distance. It could be someone you work with. Show me for Virgos this week. What's going on? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Six of Wands, King of Cups. You could have two different people interested. Both of these people look good to you. You may be interested in a fire sign and a water sign at the same time. Or just two people. One is fiery and one is more subtle. Two different personalities. They could be two different races, two different nationalities that you're interested in. Like just for example, you could be interested in a, a black guy or a black girl, Asian guy, Asian girl. You know, just for an example. It's like you, you could be interested in two different races at the same time. They both look good to you. Okay, Virgo. What? <laughs> <laughs> two of pentacles what's going on six of swords five of wands the emperor yeah aries energy coming through yeah for some of you i'm getting more so like on your job you could have more than one person interested here you may be taking your time on who you want to choose you may be waiting for people to approach you as well, staying in the place of an emperor. Mm. Let me go right back to the beginning because I feel a different energy here. Someone could be very interested in you that's with someone else. Yeah. I'm getting that energy with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here. Someone may need to apologize to a Queen of Pentacles. Maybe they've been with this person for a while, but they feel the flame and the fire between the two of you. King and Queen of Wands. Okay. This may be shocking with that tower that came out. Mm. For some of you. For some of you, this person, yeah, they may have someone at home, but they consider you like the work husband, work wife, you know, that saying, yeah, connecting with you at work, but they have someone at home. Uh-oh. 
That's more of a side note. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, messages for Virgo. Or how is Virgo feeling this week? How is Virgo feeling at this time in this situation? How is Virgo feeling? The Ace of Pentacles is here. Eight of Wands. You could invest in travel. Your money could really be taking off. Yeah. A major opportunity. Some of you could be moving as well with the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. Your money, your financial situation may really start to take off. You may also be investing. You may be looking at like stocks, bonds. You may be looking at where to put your money. Four of Wands could be into a new home. New living situation. Four of Wands. Nine of Wands. It may require a lot of work out of you. The star card, Aquarius energy, but you're get, you'll get your wish. It's just that it may require a lot of paperwork, tedious phone calls, emails. It may require you saving. Yeah, but you're going to get your wish. Messages, please, for Virgos this week. Messages for Virgos. Eight of Swords. Strength card, you could be overthinking a lot. You may have a lot on your plate, okay? Overthinking a lot. You could be overthinking a situation with a Leo as well. Whoa, we pulled two. Death card with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you may have to end it with a Leo. Some of you could be ending it with, with a Scorpio as well, moving on with your life. Maybe you've tried to work things out. Yeah, temperance. You've had a lot of patience. Yeah, I just see something happening with a Leo or a Scorpio, okay? You could be getting ready to move on after something has been a struggle. Something has been difficult. Show me. Four of Pentacles. The devil energy. Yeah, it's like I'm out of money. I'm out. Like I don't have enough to give you. You could be holding back from a Capricorn for some of you. Seven of Pentacles. I got this energy for Sagittarius. I'm going to say this. If someone keeps asking for money, it's like you may have to close the door, close the bank. Like, mm-mm. You may be stuck in payments. I'm feeling that energy with the Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Seven of Pentacles. Money, money, money. There may be issues with spending or being trapped in spending money on a, per a certain person or a certain situation. Ace of Swords, you need truth, clarity. You need, need boundaries as well with the energy of the Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands, or you're going to keep getting overwhelmed. I do see some financial issues or struggles in your near future. Mm. If you don't get a hold of spending or if you don't get a hold of giving money to someone, loaning money to someone, it's going to present other problems. That's going to put a burden or a weight on your back with the energy of the Ten of Wands. Okay? Anything else for Virgos? Anything else? We we'll have the Hangman. Pisces is here. With the Seven of Wands, you could be blocking out a Pisces. Five of Swords, you may not be communicating with this person or you may try to keep the upper hand when you do talk to this person. Knight of Wands, Judgment. Oh, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you may consider this person immature. You may also see that this person just comes back in when they're bored or they just they want to have sex with you. Knight of Wands with judgment, like they keep coming in to have sex or play around. And it's like you're learning to set boundaries with this person, Queen of Swords. For some of you, I just got, this could be your child. If you're a Virgo parent with like, I'm feeling like someone in their 20s. Like you may have a child in their 20s, maybe even possibly early 30s. 
someone who keeps asking for money or they, they're very frivolous. They spend money very quickly and then they run back and ask you for more, treating you like an ATM. You may have to set up strong boundaries, okay, with a child. This could be a fire sign child. Wow. Yeah, temperance still here at the bottom of the deck. Something could very well test your patience this week. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, any other messages coming through? Let's go to the Oracle deck. Messages coming through for Virgos this week. We have pets. Mm. We have commitment. Oh, and we have patience. This feels very sweet. I don't know. I don't know why I immediately thought of someone like committing to a pet, a dog, a cat, whatever animal that you are interested in. You may have to have a lot of love and patience. Some of you could be like adopting an animal, maybe a rescue, and you may have to have a lot of patience with this pet, okay? But they may bring you a lot of joy. I'm feeling like love here with the hearts. This uh, animal may teach you a lot about yourself as well. It may bring out that maternal or paternal instinct within you. Some of you may need a pet. Yeah. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, advice or insight, messages please for Virgo. Well, give it time. A lot of uh, spirit requiring you to have patience. Remember I said your patience may be tested this week with temperance at the bottom of the deck. So give it time. Intimacy is here. And caution. Don't jump into bed with anyone. Look, health is here. I'm telling you. Anytime I get health and intimacy, health and sexuality is the other card that I get that represents an STD for me. Okay? Okay. So I just, I want you to be careful. Give it time. When you meet someone new on your job or at a distance, don't jump into sexual energy with them. Caution. Proceed with caution. Make sure you're also protecting yourselves accordingly. And ask this person, when was the last time you had, you know, a test done for an STD or any other like STIs, sexually transmitted infections. When was the last time you've been tested? Do you mind going to get tested together? You don't know these people. Some of y'all are like, well, that's too much. You don't know these people. Okay. And they don't know you. <laughs> Come on now. We got to date smart. Y'all know that was my whole slogan if you've been following my channel, that was my whole campaign in 2022. I was like, it's time for us to date smart. No more dating dumb. Don't date dumb, okay? I'm not calling you dumb. I'm saying don't date dumb. We have to date with intelligence. You don't know these people. And I feel strongly like some of you may try to get intimate with someone or you've been knocking boots with somebody and you may look up and your health has been affected, okay? So spirit is cautioning some of you. I'm not saying that all of you are doing that, but some of you who are, be careful, okay? Because STDs are real, STIs are real. Oh, God. Advice or insight <laughs> for Virgo. Let me get off the soapbox. Rebirth is here. It says, reinvent yourself, Virgo. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. I automatically feel like some of you could be losing weight or wanting to lose weight. You could be reinventing yourself, yourself as far as your health is concerned. Okay? Whoa, that car <laughs> flew out. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. As far as your health is concerned, you could be reinvent, reinventing yourself, losing weight. Some of you could be gaining weight, putting on muscle tone, gaining weight for a bigger look, a more toned muscular look, okay? I feel like some of you also could be reinventing yourself through fashion. You could be buying new clothes, investing in yourself. 
and support is here. It says, ask for help, Virgo, especially if you're tired. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. I had already mentioned that in the reading, okay? You could be feeling tired. I mentioned that at the very beginning of the reading. Orange could be your color. You could be very drawn to hues of orange this week. What came out? I am supported on my path and what else? Let your inner fire warm you, not burn you. See, there's something about fire. You could have fire in your chart. Look at what this says. Look, I just want you to see these cards have yellow. This one has orange. This has orange. These cards have orange. That's why I was saying orange could be your color. And this talks about fire. So you are supported on your path. Whatever you are choosing to do, spirit has your back. Letting that inner fire warm you, not burn you. Don't explode, okay? Whatever is within you, you need to let it out. Learn to release your feelings, your emotions in a good way, okay? Set that passion towards something productive, and the fact that we just got through talking about sex, look at that. My sexuality is sacred. Realize that that energy is not meant for everybody. So think before you get into bed with someone. My sexuality is sacred. All righty, Virgos, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.